I'm Jennifer into this is Stars Virgo and wow Virgo so much happening in your solar 10th house it's like there's going to be a planetary traffic jam in there almost um, not almost I mean literally um, okay so here's what's happening we're right in the middle though or right on top of two um, eclipses on the 20th we have the solar eclipse the uh, new moon and that is just one half a degree into Gemini which is the position on the solar chart which represents your career and business. Next month on June the 4th we're going to have a l lunar eclipse full moon on the f on the 4th okay and that will be in your zone of family or all, all to do with your family and home so this is a uh, intense energy that's happening so it's really affecting you you know very strongly in, in both of these areas so home work okay now next month we'll talk more about that when you know we get closer not for only a few weeks away but with the lunar eclipse that you're doing in your family and home uh, you know it points to or it indicates that some changes need to be made in that area okay and if you're not making them then or not addressing then the lunar eclipse can really just um, you know <laughs> send the energy to make that happen one way or the other it can somewhat take it out of your out of your hands and sort of like demand you to you know make changes there now coming back to this week and the uh, the solar eclipse uh, you've also got you've had uh, sun moves into that area on the 21st and mercury which is your ruling planet moves in on the 24th so there's a lot of activity going on there um, Venus is retrograde as well so uh, you know you've got all this to do with relationships try not with Venus retrograde try not to take anybody for granted um, but certainly a lot of opportunities are coming up at the moment and you need to just follow them through um, now the other thing that is happening is that there are a few confronting aspects to do with the Sun and Mercury between um, Neptune Neptune sitting in opposite right opposite you in your area of relationships and partnerships okay so um, you want to be careful right now with these with these aspects that you don't really take someone right on their word like use your intuition if it doesn't feel right it's probably not right okay so there could be something quite hidden there somebody may not be telling you the absolute truth on the other hand too I mean you want to if you need to tell somebody a few hard truths to be able to keep within your own integrity of being upfront and honest then you know you need to do that of course it's always best to apply a little bit of diplomacy you know you don't want to go out of your way to sort of hurt someone either but um, and once again as I say <clears throat> the key here really is to tune into your instincts okay so really just think about how you feel does it sit right with you if it doesn't sit right with you then it's you know there's something amiss uh, it may not be life-changing but it'll be good to know um, so you're still on a learning curve as well learning you know new knowledge to take take with you into um, you know the future and the foundations that you're laying now so that's still that's still there as well so keep that up Okay, you're in for some an interesting way, Virgo. All right, so have a good week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.